Hello everyone, in today's episode I'm going to attempt into building three houses made out of terracotta material of different colors and also these houses are gonna vary in size and shape which is completely random and as you can see I'm playing around with them. I've started building them out of certain materials that would accentuate where a certain wall starts and then where it ends. I've started adding details like pipes for the water that's uh, coming as a rain of some sort and small little details like these flower boxes uh, not below the windows and then I started adding a shape to the roof because I wanted to see where this house could take me like is it gonna have two stories maybe one story maybe one story with an attic I didn't I didn't know what what's gonna turn out um, to be because I didn't have a plan in advance because I just threw three different uh, circular shapes on the ground which were completely random and I just played around with them and as you can see, when it comes to roof, I've started doing something simple and then on the later house designs, I'm gonna do a little bit more complicated stuff, a bit more random stuff. Um, also, when you take a look at this house, I've started placing certain elements around the house like pillars that are in a places where you wouldn't normally place them, but playing around with these kind of gave me certain ideas that you can see here on the second house. I didn't think of this design with the first one, just to have like two pillars and a wall in between them. That gave me a certain interesting shape that I didn't previously build in any house that I ever built in survival or created, but it was fun to play around with. Also, this kind of uh, wall design kind of gives you an idea where you would place a window, which is kind of the last thing that you build when you build a house, because you need to see where the walls are, where you're gonna um, get inside a house, uh, if it's gonna have a back entrance or something like that. So these kind of details do vary depending on that feature. Also, I started adding these um, uh, blinders, uh, if you would call them, so it would give a little bit more depth because these designs tend to be flat uh, and I don't know, these uh, blinders on the windows kind of gave it a little bit of three-dimensional di feel that I'm gonna implement uh, on the first house uh, in the later stages. On the third house, you see I replicated the same design that I used on the first house, but then I started adding certain details in the middle between the first and the second story because I thought it would give it a bit more depth, but also more detail and character because I, I've tried to build every single house to seem as though it's the same building style, but also give it a special characteristic that would make it different from one another. So when they are crammed this close to one another, it doesn't seem boring. It seems interesting and fun to look at and maybe to get inspiration from. And voila, the design is complete. Now these three houses do look very, very interesting. I played a little bit with the interior, but I'm gonna get into that a little bit later. But for now, I just wanna show you everything that you might have seen in the time lapse, uh, like these window shutters, um, blinders, whatever you wanna call them. Uh, and also this trapdoor design running around the house on the same level, dividing the first from the second floor. And you can see the variation in the color, but also they're on the similar hue. This second house is completely uh, the same color as this one, but I started adding certain dif uh, different details. For example, this pillar is not going all the way down because this um, bottom layer is a bit slimmer. But then I thought, like, let me elevate this house a little bit, um, like one block higher. Also pull it out, but uh, give it a bit more uh, support with these pillars. And in the third house, I gave the support, I think, with all these details around it. They kind of look out of place, but when you look at it, uh, like all three houses together, that central design kind of makes sense all of a sudden. And, I mean, small details, like these flower pots, like these drain pipes, you see here, here, and right over here, they all give it a little bit more 
character. When it comes to the roof, this one is much simpler, something that Minecraft players are kind of used to. And then, when it comes to this roof, I started playing around with its shape. Um, it's completely organic, I would say. It's not planned at all, it has these weird kind of ends, but it also gives it a little bit more interesting feature, just like this thing over here that I replicated on this roof. And this roof is also built in the same manner as this one, and you can see here, it's not even on the same elevation, and I think that's really, really interesting. I could have played around with this part a bit more, maybe uh, create another drainage. <laughs> Let's see what what's what's it gonna look like if I add this here Yeah, that gives even more character. It's not too much, but also it's not too little I quite like it and also this one is the only one that has chimney <laughs> Which is a nice feature when when you come inside It's really open. It's one room with simple uh, dividers. They are kind of see-through so it, it does make it a bit interesting to walk through. It's not claustrophobic or trapped. You don't feel trapped inside. Also, study slash um, bedroom. And like simple uh, ladder to get you upstairs. Because this is the smallest house. And framing like a staircase into it was maybe a little bit too much. <laughs> also, this one is like have a huge TV with uh, sound speakers small kitchen with a with a table divider uh, cake <laughs> very important some kind of storage um, ceiling with um, lanterns hanging from it a little bit of hidden storage uh, system here first time uh, in the house this one doesn't have the back entrance but this one does also it has a staircase spiral staircase that gets you upstairs also a study room with a bedroom right over here some paintings on a wall for decoration i didn't want to go overboard with the decoration because if you are watching this and you are looking for a material that's gonna get you inspired i want to show you a skeleton of it and just to leave you an empty space for your uh, inspiration and details to kick in this place here has a fireplace <laughs> which is quite unique um also kitchen with a with a with a divider made out of uh, trap doors uh, some dining area sitting area here study area over there barrels for the storage system we usually had chests before and a huge bedroom with a huge painting <laughs> this can be a secret entrance to the uh, next house uh the, the, the second house on the other side of this wall uh, also a storage system here some shelves and stuff like that huge window so you can take a look outside and all of that looks looks really interesting different colors of wood have been used in every single house just to accentuate that difference and i think it kind of works you know it really does work let me take you to the multiplayer world where i'm going to show you where we're going to place <laughs> these houses come on bad weather every single time when I'm about to finish my sentence. It's rude. Here we are at the multiplayer world called Kingdom Chronicles. And as you can see, I've already l placed a layout for all of those houses. They're going to be different colors. They're going to be different sizes and shapes. But we're going to do the same principle. Um, these are randomly placed. There is no pattern. For these, it's ev every single house has a different shape. I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped. The only thing that kind of follows each and every house is that they don't have a full corner, as you can see. They don't. Um, there is no block right over here, so they don't connect the, to it here. So I can either go with um with a pillar pillar wall. Or I can leave all these three blocks as a wall and go pillar here and pillar there. It's all about my imagination or preference, whatever I want to do with those houses. Also, they're going to be standing on different elevations, um, which is going to be quite awesome because um, having them different size and different shape, it's going to accentuate this place even more. As you can see, I've crammed them up. They're basically glued one to another, which is going to give it an interesting um, feature. Uh, I've tried to cram these streets even. <laughs> What's this? Like one, two, three, 
four. Yeah, four blocks, maybe three blocks. Uh, the difference from wall to wall. Well, these uh, houses go... Um, yeah, they're gonna stick with this corner next to one another. But as you can see, it's gonna be a very narrow street. Some of these houses are gonna have entrances all the way in a colon sack, like right over here, this this white one. I think. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't planned that that one out. Um, also, these back alleys that take you nowhere, so we can add a little bit more detail. So whoever gets here, he's gonna kind of get lost, you know? <laughs> he's gonna uh, be presented with the opportunity to walk around and to get lost in all of this creation. I kind of think that it it's gonna work. It's gonna work. So in the next episode where we're gonna build this, I hope you guys are gonna tune in and to see the progress because this is something that I've never done before. So I'm quite, quite excited about this project. Anyway, I have another project in mind that I would like you to see. This noisy place is a place of a blue, the giant noob. <laughs> it really is noisy. He's got two chicken farms in his base. This one produces eggs, if I'm not mistaken, and the other one produces meat and feathers, obviously. <laughs> a while ago, I helped him decorate this base, at least this part here, because he was dying so much due to his base being uh, not mob-proof. <laughs> so, after I helped him, I guess that he died less in the game. But since then, he's built all kinds of um, farms here. Uh, zero tick farm here, as I can see, sugarcane. Um, some unintentional golem farm because of the villager farm right over here. It's probably nighttime outside. My god, where's this noise coming from? <laughs> probably somewhere in the walls. They're all hidden away. Anyway, so what I asked for my guys on the server to do is to prank uh, Blue. <laughs> What I asked for was a colorful and um, I can't think and speak at the same time where, while I'm being attacked. Um, I asked for a colorful prank. Like I, uh, I did get some inspiration going, but I didn't expect for it to grow that big. So I'm gonna take a flight and I'm gonna reveal what happened. It got out of hand pretty quickly, which is good. <laughs> An entire town kind of just popped up in the middle of the desert. <laughs> when I said colorful, I didn't have this in mind, but it kind of surprised me because it's kind of good. We have a tree house here. We have... Whoa, we have creepers. <laughs> that could have ended up badly. Why am I being attacked by a spider in the middle of the day? This game is getting weirder by the second. Anyway, treehouse. Treehouse <laughs> with a netherrack for a base. <laughs> this house here, which is hard to look at because of the difference in the color. Diorite decorated house. Another diorite decorated um, crypt, I'm guessing. <laughs> this monstrosity. I haven't seen this at all. It's a glass roofed house. Noise. <laughs> Some of the streets even have the blue reference names, like Blue Dabba Dee Dabba Da Street, like a song. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Also, diorite decoration all the way. <laughs> I think I saw another another house here, somewhere in the back, which is also yeah based on the diorite. <laughs> He's gonna flip. <laughs> also, these dead corals made out of diorite in the desert. I mean, this is this is beautiful. <laughs> Nonetheless, this prank is huge, and it's all sorts of wrong things at one place, and also diorite, which Blue can't stand. So I think this is gonna get him in the middle of his heart. Why did this roof burn? <laughs> Okay, I, I can see that some houses here already started being damaged. I provided all the materials for this build, and I'm glad that people joined in and everyone pitched in with their silly ideas just to annoy Blue a little bit and 
make him inspired to blow this whole place up. Also, while I'm here, I might spend a little bit more diamonds because I saw a new shop open. So, let's see here. Rockets, one diamond for a stack. Without a word. <laughs> uh, is it silk? Almost. I almost destroyed an ender chest once again just by not being careful. Also, I didn't notice, but in the episodes, I saw some people working on the end farm. So that's something I gotta check out. Also, repair a little bit of my tools, especially shovel, because in the latest hours of my recording, I did quite use it, and I don't want it to break. I still have a lot of projects to work on, uh, building those houses and modifying the terrain. So I wanna be I wanna be prepared for all of those projects. Also, this tunnel has always been so long. <laughs> Let's see what's at the end of it. I, I I saw some new features. Oh, oh my god, that's loud. Okay. Um, turning off. Uh, friendly creatures, ambient environment, hostile creatures. Okay, turning you down a little bit. That's better. Okay, so enchantment pass. 20 diamonds to use this area. We also have mending books here. I owe you. <laughs> oh, wow. Lapis donated by Gideon. Nice. So, 20 diamonds. Uh, is there an ender chest here somewhere? Dude! You can't build this place without an ender chest. I'm donating. <laughs> I'm donating an ender chest. Right here. Um... That's 18, 19, 20. Is my maths correct? Yes. Nicely done. Okay, so 20 diamonds to get a pass to be able to use this place. All right. Mending books. Uh, I'm kind of in a spending mood, so I'm going to get myself one. Did I pay? Yes, I did. And okay. So now we can freely use this place. And this place, I'm guessing. With all my tools and gear finally completely filled with <laughs> their hit damage, I'm gonna... Um, what are they called? Ninja Turtles? Yeah. I'm gonna Ninja Turtle my way back to my base <laughs> through the sewers. Uh, this thing is closed. A secret lever. Yeah. I'm back. <laughs> this place has grown so much over the... Oh, no. <laughs> I was wondering when it's going to be something like this. But it's so cool. <laughs> Jack Skellington's face. Such an awesome pixel art. I hope I'm going to be able to do something like this someday. Mm, man, that's good. Whoever did this, nice, nice work, nice work. <laughs> I'm going to see if I'm going to be able to keep it because it's so cool. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to be capable of creating something around it and utilizing it into my, my own build here. Because I've been delaying my work around this thing for so long <laughs> that I even started a new project in the spawn area, um, which is going to be done in between this and the next episode so maybe i'm gonna spend a little bit more time here and working on this building but for now i'm gonna sign off because it's christmas and it's holidays and yeah a lot of stuff is happening off camera <laughs> i will fill you in eventually but for now just enjoy these episodes that i create from time to time because i i can't even stick to the schedule anymore so i'm releasing episodes whenever i can i hope you understand and I'm going to see you in, in the next episode where we're going to do a bit more progress than we did in this one. Until then, bye-bye.